What on earth is wrong with this motherboard? The power connectors are missing. The SATA connectors are missing. Literally all other USB and fan connectors are missing. My money is missing and wait, what are we talking about again? Anyway, Asus just announced this Thing, the Asus Turf B760M BTF Wi-Fi D4, which apart from having the most obnoxious name ever, has one very unique thing about it which you probably noticed. It has literally nothing on it. That's because they actually put everything at the back of the motherboard to allow for much cleaner cable management. Which, while it does sound great in theory, it very quickly falls apart when you apply any logic to it. Firstly, you do need a case that will actually be compatible with this arrangement. Secondly, adding or removing anything to the PC is going to be much more difficult because instead of just, you know, taking off the side glass panel or whatever you have and plugging or unplugging anything, you have to venture into the rat's nest you have behind. And thirdly, it's an Asus Tough styled B760 MATS motherboard, which is needlessly restrictive. Oh, and fourthly, it does make the motherboard look kind of empty, as there's just simply nothing in that space where the connectors used to be, apart from a lot of rather distracting soldering points. But enough about the unique selling point of this motherboard, who cares about that? Let's talk about what it has in common with every other motherboard out there. Starting off with CPU power, here we have 12 plus 1 power phases, which is pretty decent for an MATX B760 motherboard. It's an arrangement that will do well for most CPUs out there, and the 8 plus 4 EPS connectors at the back will provide plenty of power to whatever CPU you might be running. The PC expansion is also pretty much what you'd expect from an MATX motherboard. Rather bland. With a primary PC Gen 5 16x slot, another physical but in reality 4x slot below that, and a tiny tiny 1x slot in between the two. Though seeing how most people at most put a graphics card into a PC nowadays, especially a small MATX build, I don't think too many people are going to complain. At least the storage expansion is pretty decent for MATX with three M.2 slots in total, with one of them being at the back. You do also get four SATA connectors, which yes, I know, I know, I always complain about that in my videos, but it is an MATX board, so it's kind of forgivable. But believe it or not, the weird inverted design of this motherboard isn't even the weirdest thing. The rear I.O. has to be the weirdest thing, because it makes some rather interesting choices. Sure, the 7 USB Type-A connectors may not be the most in the world, and the fact that only 3 of them are USB Gen 3 or faster is kind of disappointing, but you have a whopping 3 USB Type-C ports? Yes, you heard me right, this tiny B760 motherboard has more USB Type-C ports than some of the most expensive Z790 boards on the market right now. I don't know why HSUS decided to leave this feature to a B760 motherboard, but still, Good for you. But that's pretty much where the niceties of the rear I.O. end, because there are two major disappointments. Firstly, the integrated Wi-Fi is only Wi-Fi 6, not 6E, and secondly, Asus tried to copy Gigabyte's own work and only included three audio jacks with no optical split of to speak of, which is fairly disappointing, but I've been complaining about it so, so much recently, I'm starting to see audio jacks in my dreams, so I should probably stop. And while news about availability or pricing will probably come out in the next few days, I mean, like, this thing is straight off the press. In fact, on Asus's own website, the product appears to be posing as a laptop. But it is a very interesting experiment in what can be done to make PCs look even cleaner. And if this prototype does sell well, then hopefully we'll see more actually useful motherboards like this in the future. You know, full-size Z790 or X670 type of stuff. Oh yeah, and we also need cases that are actually supported. So, Get on it, PC case manufacturers. And you should get onto our Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Captain Burns, Ryan, Aki B, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bardosh Velka, Meg Sumner, Sheen Allcroft, Lansby, Jesse Herbman, Sharon Odgan, and Level Up. Down next you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.